So I'm Hannah and I had alliteration and assonance. Alliteration is the repetition of similar consonant sounds. So that means all of the regular S, R's, and T's. Um, many common everyday alliterations are seen as tongue twisters or as slogans, and the more dramatic alliterations aren't usually seen in literature. But some alliteration pairs would be busy bee, trick or treat, wishy washy, pitter patter, which have that obvious recognition. Some other examples would be don't bother mother, I found the butter. You repeat that ut sound in different words. Another example would be take it to the limit or quit. You repeat that it sound at the end of three words, which are repeated. Um, some real world examples would be the common tongue twisters that you hear, Sally sells seashells at the seashore, and then Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Obviously, you can see the repetition of the s and p sounds at the beginning of each phrase, but they're very dramatic, and they're seen in each word of the sentence. Um, examples from the text. Jeanette Walls uses a lot of alliteration because it shows emotion and when she's describing either people or situations or anything she sees. On page 164, she says there were street brawls, bar stabbings, parking lot beatings, wife slappings, and toddler wailings. She repeats the ng sound at the end of a different um, description of what she's seeing in a town. Another example would be, at dusk, we approached a bend where hand-painted signs advertising auto repairs and coal deliveries had been nailed to trees along the roadside. She repeats the n sound in the n Bent, hand, and bend. Assonance is the repetition of similar vowel sounds. Now this only focuses on your A, E, I, O's, and using your Y's. This could be if you say, eat, sleep, and breathe. You're repeating the eep sound, the harsh E sound in each of those phrases. Some real word examples are usually seen in... Um, poetry or in slogans for things because assonance is sometimes hard to require. It beats as it sweeps as it cleans. You're repeating that hard eat sound multiple times in um, the Hoover vacuum cleaner slogan. And then Edgar Allan Poe used a lot of assonance because it's very dramatic and it shows a lot of emotion. And in The Raven he says the silken sad uncertain rustling of each purple curtain which, repeat, which repeats that er sound in multiple times. Some other examples would be, I don't appreciate your rude and shrewd feud, sir. That just rep repeats that ood sound multiple times in a sentence, and that's more easy to pick out. Jeanette Walls also uses assonance in the Great Castle. There were streams and creeks everywhere instead of the irrigation dishes you saw at Walls, and the air felt different. She repeats that hard E sound when describing a place. You've got to do something to help dad. That's just repeating the obvious ooh sound in to do and to. And then finally, Billy was three years older than me, tall and skinny with this sandy crew cut and blue eyes. She repeats that E sound multiple times in the sentence when describing Billy, the boy she met. So that is assonance and alliteration, and I hope you enjoyed it.